Back in April of 2021, I created the Gratitude Journal. Now, to be honest, the book didn't do particularly well. I didn't have a launch plan. I got a couple of good reviews, but it just didn't take off. And I know on reflection, there are so many things I could have done better. But that's not what this video is about. What I want to do is to show you how easy you can create a book, which is this one right here, using BookBolt, and now also combining that with the power of ChatGPT. So in this book, in this one in particular, I had different prompted questions, which I came up with. There's different coloring pages, and the reviews that I got, they didn't unfortunately provide any written responses, but they were two five-star reviews. But how could I have made that book so simply and got it onto Amazon using BookBolt? Let's get onto BookBolt right now. I'm going to show you the actual book on Amazon, and then we're going to work out what we could have done better, but also help you to make these books, like Gratitude Journals, other low-content books at Amazon KDP, nice and easy, so then you, for, you can therefore start to make some passive income. So let's get into that right now. And this is the book that is on KDP. Uh, or on Amazon. As I said, it didn't do particularly well, but it did get two ratings, not even reviews. If you go to the look inside, you can see how I've put it together. So it comes together quite well. However, that's not what we're doing in this video. What I want to do is actually show you how easy it was for me to put together. Plus, we're now going to use the power of BookBolt. But what I'm going to do is keep this information up because I want to be able to show you how you could use this kind of information to create a description with, uh, with uh, ChatGPT. But let's get on to BookBolt right now. So I'm on the main area of BookBolt right now. If you haven't used BookBolt before, make sure you check it out. It's a great software you can use for the creation of Amazon KDP books. Pricing-wise, it's got two plans. You've got a monthly and a yearly plan. Now, if it's a monthly plan, you can choose the newbie at $9.99 or the pro. Now, the pro allows you to get some extra puzzle creation software which is included and you can do a three-day trial for both so you make the choice of what's going to be best for you anyway let me log into my account and i'm going to go up to here and log in and i forgot to mention that if you use the coupon code life graduate 20 you will receive 20 percent off your order for book bolts so and make sure you use that code life graduate 20. the links will be in the description below if we're having a look here we can see all the different options to do to to check things out. So what I'd probably do if you wanted to check out, for example, if you had a gratitude journal, you could go to the top 100. You might want to choose a journal and then we go down here and we can check the BSR range. So that's the ranking on Amazon. Let's go down to around about 276 and we're going to do unicorn gratitude. So now what we do is do a search and this will bring up all the different books that might have gratitude in it or unicorn, but mostly they could be journals that um, are on a different topic. But you can see here we've got the unicorn journal and sketchbook and BookBolt will provide us with the reviews, the current ranking. So it's 4,673. So such a good ranking at the moment. We can also check this button here. That will actually give us the pricing and also the ranking. So at the moment, it's been sitting at $7. And at the moment, it's, it's uh, the sales rank of 6561 back in January. Right now, it's a 4673. So it's actually going down. It's got the ASIN number right there and the product. And if you wanted to, you could click here and that will take you straight to the page and you can check all those details out. You can also scroll down, see if there's other ones. So that's a sketchbook. You've got Christian Gratitude Journals. There's another unicorn book there. How's that one doing? That's at 33,000 BSR. And once you get an idea, you can then check on all these as well. So what we want to do from here is we want to just check if there's any other details that we have. Now we might get some keywords that are part of this. So we're going to go to search. 
and we can use this feature to get some keywords. So we might do a uh, unicorn gratitude journal. And let's have a look and see what keywords are coming up for unicorn gratitude journal. This sometimes takes a bit of time, but you can actually see the most frequent keywords that are being used. Now, how about if we went to uh, chat GPT and we we then combine the power of BookBolt with ChatGPT to work out what we can do. So let's do that right now. So I'm now on ChatGPT. The address is chat.openai.com and at the time of filming it is free. So we can really complete anything here. Even if you wanted to have, if you came up with your topic and you found it on BookBolt and we were doing our keyword research and we think, Okay, this could be a good niche to get into. Then you might go list 10 prompts for kids aged 4 to 8 years that could be used in a gratitude journal. And what we also do is um, yeah, we'll start with that. Let's see how we go. So what we do is we just wait for this to come back with the responses. And you can see how it starts to provide these prompts. You could do 20 prompts if you want. You could do 30 prompts. But at least it gives you a bit of an idea of what you could include. Not all of them are going to be great prompts, but some of them might be really helpful. So what I'm doing here is trying to combine BookBolt with some of the ideas and niches that are coming up. And then I'm using ChatGPT to come up with the different questions. Now, how about we could do something like this? Create a captivating title and subtitle for a book for a unicorn gratitude journal for kids aged four to eight years. Let's see what it comes up with here now. I've missed the spelling there, but that's going to be okay. Magical moments, a unicorn gratitude journal for kids, and there's the the change of it, or you can say rewrite and I want the uh, title to be uh, let's say 80 characters and let's see what it comes up with. 80 characters might be too many <laughs> but let's see what it comes up with. Okay, let's I'm, I'm just going to try one more thing. Let's go back to my book. Let's grab this one, which is my book title there. Rewrite this title to capture the main keywords for a child that wants to use a gratitude journal. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Uniform gratitude journal for kids. For what do I empower young minds with daily gratitude and mindfulness? Here we go. Please also add a subtitle. Let's see what happens. title colorful journey of appreciation and reflection so there we go you can also grab the information here and you could say rewrite this description and also include a title and subtitle for a book. Oops, I forgot to include it. Let's might try that again. I'll stop it.
copy this. Let's try it again. And I'm going to include the description in here. And see what it comes back with now. So what I've done is I've included the information there. My details are in there as well. Okay, so join the magical journey of appreciation and reflection with the unicorn dreams. A great June journal for kids. The beginner journal design and collaboration. With, yep, so it goes on. So what you could do is make sure that you're adjusting information. Don't just use exactly what's been generated here. You need to put your own touch on it. What I don't want to see is people using AI generated information and just copy and pasting it. You need to make sure you're making the changes. Anyway, let's go back to BookBolt. I've shown you now that this, this uh, AI can generate titles, subtitles. You can come up with different prompts for your journal. We're now using this to look at different frequent keywords. So what you could also do is you could perhaps even download the results. And what we could do is to uh, look at other ways that we could use these keywords. So there might be seven backend keywords that we might be able to use as well. But what BookBolt does, it provides you with the Google search volume. So this has got 90 search volume. There's 10, 70. So what you could probably do is you copy this. We can export or download the results and that will allow us to provide, be given a spreadsheet, which I'll do now. And this will actually allow us to sort the Google searches and search volume. So what we do, go data, filter, and we're gonna go uh, from largest to smallest. And gratitude journals is the highest volume. Gratitude journal with prompts. So what I'd probably do from this information is grab grab these ones the highest one we're going to actually we might go one more down because it's got a great unicorn journals we're going to copy this we can go back to chat uh, gpt and we're going to say use the following keywords in a title for a unicorn gratitude book for a title and subtitle so now we can check this works again so what we do let's put those in there and see what comes up as we scroll down great so this comes up with another title and subtitle using some of the key like the main keywords that we're finding in our report which was just just here and we can use those in our amazon ads as well now you can see our google competition is high and that's something you need to consider when you're looking at all these different topics you need to make sure that you aren't competing in the really high competition but what i'm trying to show you and demonstrate here is that you can use this information to your advantage with using BookBolt and uh, ChatGPT. Now, the other thing I want to show you is by going, uh, we're going to go up to the top here and we're going to go and click on BookBolt Studio. So BookBolt Studio will allow us to uh, create our cover. Now, it depends if you've already created your cover in a platform like Canva, then you can use that. But you could also transfer any of your documents across and convert it and do it that way as well. So if you want it, if you had your book covers already, which I do, I'm going to show you those in a second. And what I'm going to do here is create a new project. So I'm going to do just the I'm going to do just the cover for this example. We'll call it Unicorn Gratitude Journal. We're going to go an 8.5 by 11. We're doing, we're going to do the black and white interior white paper, and it is 100 pages. So we create project. And by doing that, I just went to project and just went new. And that's how I got it up. And then this brings everything up. 
Now what we'd need to do is download uh, the files. So what we need to do is go to this just here library and what I'm going to do here is upload the image. So I go to the folder, click on the image right there and then I've got the image right there. I need the back page as well. So I've uploaded the back page as well. So now we've got our two uh, images. So what we need to do is just go to here. We click on, uh, sorry, we click on our images. We click on the picture and then it'll bring it up right here. So what we need to do is just stretch it until it goes to those lines right there. Stretch it up so it's nice and covered over and then what we need to do is get the back image when we go to the back image and we do the same thing we bring it across though and we can stretch it now you can see how the barcode needs to go down there so make sure you don't cover the barcode area up so we stretch it right down the ends just make sure it's nice and even and bring it right down there now, what we also need to do is make sure that we're covering the spine. So you can do a color. So if you click on the, where is it? Uh, the color, we go to this one right here, paper color. If we click this button right here, we can actually pick a color. So if we want this light blue, we can pick that. And then what we do is click and then the back of the book is now going to be that because what we can do is remove the actual template at the back here as well so we can um, do that in a moment what we can do is we go to go just here and we can go the cover template we can reduce that so see how it disappears and you've got the color that's going to be in the spine so if you weren't happy with that color what you could do is go back here we choose the pipette and then that changes it to the dark blue one, which might be better. But we just need to make sure that we've got our book all in place. So we might just extend that just beyond the line. And we can do that there as well. So everything is set to go for the cover. All we need to do is click Save. And then what we need to do is download. So we can download it. We could probably do the uh, current page or the current project, but we're going to do the current page. And what we do is wait for it, and then that will pro provide the PDF for us. So we can download it right here. This will actually give us different documents, and that's what it will look like, which is, which is exactly what we want. So if we wanted to go back and we wanted to also do the manuscript, you can also do that in combination with the cover but for the moment we're going to go and create a new project and we're going to call it uh, we're just going to do uh, the interior sorry the interior we can do it within bookbop i i normally just use canva and i create it as a pdf i save it in pdf so i go save and i do download i choose uh, to do it in PDF print and then I also choose CMYK best for professional printing so I choose that one and I download it but we're using book bolt for the moment so you could go unicorn manuscript and we're going to do an 8.5 by 11 and we're going to do 100 pages we just double check that moment I've got 100 7 100 down there so we go back to book bolt and we're going to do no bleed actually did I do bleed I have to have a look uh, no no bleed so we're going to go back we're going to do no bleed and create project so what this will actually do is create these for us and now what we can also do is add the pages so if you wanted to create your own pages and add individually you can then do that but we won't go ahead and do that in this tutorial it'll just take too long i've already taken up far too much of your time but what i wanted to point out were a few things a few important things so with bookbolt 
you can do your cloud research. You can find out about those unicorn books, for example. You can then also, it's called Book Scout. So you can actually grab a uh, ISBN and you can actually check those. So if we just went up here and just did Unicorn Gratitude Journal, as long as it's a KDP ASIN number. So let's have a look here. It's a... Let's just go this one here. So what we do is go to here, we whack in the ASIN and we go search. And then this will actually bring up all the information about this particular book. And once it's come up, it will, could also provide different keywords that are in this book. And it takes a while to process. It'll also show you the search volume. So you can use the cloud for that. As we saw, we can use a the keywords, you can also use the, K, the categories as well, so you can find out different categories. It's got so many different features. So you can see the number of things that you can use with BookBolt and it will allow you to create the different kinds of books that you want to, whether they be low content books or even no content books. No content books are just like line blank journals, but you just need to work through it, gather those keywords, use uh, chat GPT to create descriptions for you, help with different uh, structuring of your books, and in combination, they're both very, very powerful. So remember, if you want to create fast books, try and use BookBolt, because particularly the cover formatting I've really enjoyed. It's helped me get out of having covers rejected on many, many occasions. So that's a good example of how you can use BookBolt with ChatGPT to create your low content books and search for different niches, find keywords, help with your descriptions, bring it all together. Now I do have other videos about using BookBolt. Make sure you check out the links below and also ensure that if you do purchase BookBolt to get that 20% off by using Life Graduate 20 all lowercase, one word, uh, as part of a coupon code. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, give them a thumbs up if you liked the video, and I look forward to providing another video soon. Until then, goodbye.